Where do you find good references? Well, in my opinion, the best reference you can find is from life. So like the world around you. Photos tend to make, they tend to make things flat, especially since like, depending on the lens that's used for the photography, um, it can skew the, like, the depth of things. So it can mess with what you're seeing. That might not be exactly how it looks. But when you can understand something in 3D, so like if you're looking at a model where you can like, if you move in your seat, you get a different angle. You can see how the shadows play on like the object or the model or whatever. You can walk around it and see how the angles change and the structure moves. It will let you add a lot more depth and structure to what you're drawing. So from life is definitely like the best you can get. But in reality, you're not always going to be able to get the reference you need in front of you in real life. So your second best option is definitely photos. So I use photos a lot. It's super easy to get a hold of a photo of a model or a landscape than going to find these things on your own. And where do I find these photos? Generally, I just use Google or Pinterest. Uh, I also go through like um, stock image sites. So like Unsplash is one I look at a lot. And I utilize like Tumblr and Instagram for fashion photos. If you can find like uh, books on like photography books or magazines, these are also great resources. It doesn't all have to come from online. So yeah, photography is like your second best bet. It's probably what you'll use the most. It's what I use the most. You can still get the general idea of things as long as you understand kind of like how to break stuff down into shapes. So like a good mix of like studying from life and studying photos will super help like improve your work. Mixing the two is great reference. Um, so for example, like get a picture of a model and then also get your friend to pose for you. So you can get say like the proportions that you want from the model, but you can see how like human anatomy looks in real life from your friend. Now what about art books and reference books, e.g. like how to draw blank books? Honestly, they're a good resource. They might be an easy way to like understand something that feels complicated. So if like you're new to studying human anatomy, it might be good to start with like a how to draw book. It can break things down into easier steps for you to follow, which is totally okay. However, you need to be very conscious of like what you're learning to draw through them. Uh, because a lot of the time they might teach you to utilize like symbols or shortcuts instead of drawing like reality. So always keep that in mind. It can be an interesting way to break something down, but your best bet is to like start there and then actually start looking at things in real life. And finally, is it okay to study other artists? I think I've talked about this before, but I'll say it again. <laughs> um, copying the work of another artist is fine for a studying tool. Like... You know, I'll look at other artists' work to understand, like, the color relationships they've done in their work or how they got their lines to look a specific way. Like, I, I use it to just learn techniques that I'm not sure, I'm not sure where to start with. It's kind of like studying the masters. I remember my art teachers had us do that a lot. Like, we'd pick a painting by one of the masters and then try to recreate it to kind of learn what they did through practice. It's a really good technique to learn techniques. <laughs> However, you run the same risk as like using how to draw books because this artist might have used like shortcuts or they might have simplified something and it could give you a bad habit if you copy what they're doing without understanding like why they're doing it or um, not understanding like the form that they're drawing that they have translated into like 2D or whatever. Some of my favorite like real life references are things that I just find around my house. So for example, I use bones, like I talked about in a previous video, where I'll make him pose for me or stand with me. Like we'll pose together and I'll be like, okay, so like this is how they would be positioned, etc. And like I use my animals when I'm drawing furries. So I like look at my dog's legs or my cat's legs or their faces to figure out like how those work. Uh, and I use like my own hands and feet and stuff as reference all the time. That's always something you can reference. Just grab a mirror or look down at your hands. That's like perfect. <laughs> and uh, you can also grab things from like around your house that aren't, they're not exactly the thing you're trying to draw, but you can you still use them as reference to get the general shape. So for example, like using a, a stalk of broccoli as a reference for a tree. I remember my art teacher saying that like actual painters used to do this all the time. I thought that was adorable. <laughs> or say like you want to draw like a cityscape, so you grab a bunch of building blocks to like plan out the shapes of the city. So yeah, get creative with your references. They don't have to be like spot on to what you need. You might need to like grab a broom <laughs> and pre 
pretend it's a sword and get photos of that to see, like, how someone would grip a sword handle. As always, draw from life, then photos, then everything else. <laughs> I hope that helps. Where do you guys find your references? I want to know. Maybe I've missed something somewhere. Anyways, thank you so much for listening. That's all I have for today. If you have any questions or if you'd like to submit a video topic, please leave a comment down below. I'll be answering all the art questions and Bones will handle all the writing questions. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye!